Welcome back to Success with Stephen. My name is Stephen Smith. On this channel, we talk about all things financial literacy. And today we're going to be talking about Navy Federal credit line increases and the new update that has occurred with the strategy to get a credit line increase. For the last six months, I've been going through the process of requesting a credit line increase every single month with Navy Federal. Uh, reason being, I had an automatic increase for a credit card. They gave me a much smaller credit limit increase than I wanted before. I then made a video um, about that. And in that video, I also mentioned that you want to call and ask them to no longer do those automatic limit increases. Now, there was an update that I saw on Navy Federal, and this happened during a one on one coaching where the person I was speaking with could not put in the amount they wanted to request from Navy Federal. Now, for me, I still had the option to type it in, but I noticed when I went to it, I could no longer continue. So I. I updated the app thinking it had something to do with the um, latest iOS version or maybe it was with the iPhone. You know, sometimes you get a bug or things don't work properly, but this, the actual option was completely removed from the Navy Federal app and it's no longer on the website. So I proceeded to call. I found out that you can no longer request the amount that you would like your credit limit increase to be with Navy Federal credit cards. Instead, you have to submit the request and then they will decide what limit to provide you with. So with that being said, I'm going to go over what I learned from the conversation. I'm also going to give you, believe it or not, some actual pros that you may find when doing this now and the strategy that we should use going forward. I'm also going to be testing this out in the next 30 days. I'm one month away from six months. So I should have a new credit limit increase coming soon. And that's going to be around December 20th. So there will be a follow up to this video in probably one month where I'll confirm whether or not some of this stuff that I've been doing has worked or it hasn't. Here at the top, I put an actual screenshot and it says Navy Federal will determine your credit limit upon approval. That is a screenshot from my phone when I tried to do the credit limit increase. And of course, like I said, it changed. Now let's talk about how the method used to work so that we understand um, where we started and where we're going. So with Navy Federal, if you were approved for a brand new credit card, after 91 days, you could have requested a credit line increase of up to $8,000. Every subsequent increase was requested in 180 days or six months from the previous one for no more than $8,000. And this was how credit limit increases worked in the past with Navy Federal. But now you're no longer able to request $8,000 for the credit limit increase. Instead, they will be taking a look at it and seeing what you're eligible for. So now that we can no longer do that, I wanna talk about the pros of this because I did learn something that actually may be a benefit to some of us who wanted to do a little bit more with our credit line. This is the silver lining in all of this. So although you cannot choose the exact amount you want to increase your credit limit by, Navy Federal will determine the credit limit increase based on your credit history, your income and account activity. But this amount can potentially be over $8,000. So that's the benefit here. In the past, you can only request $8,000 as the maximum. Now you'll have an underwriter look at your credit limit and they'll determine whether or not you can actually get more than $8,000. This is what I got from customer service with Navy Federal. I did speak to three different representatives. All three of them said that you can potentially have a higher limit increase than $8,000 if you are approved. So that is something that's actually really good because if you get, let's say a limit increase of $16,000, that's something you would have needed to wait for a year at, you know, to get $16,000. Now, maybe you can get that in six months. Now, again, this is all brand new information. I can only confirm what I can prove. And at this point, I can't confirm that what they're saying is actually true. But what I can do is keep attempting to do a credit line increase. And in my next one, I'm going to see if, you know, if possible, maybe I'll get approved for more than 8,000. Now, if you're like me, your next question probably is, how can I let Navy Federal know I need a higher limit than $8,000? How can I let them know that 
I'm going to be spending more than that if I'm not able to actually say exactly what I want. And that's the thing about this. There's a lot of other banks and there's a lot of other credit cards that actually operate this exact same way. Instead of you being able to actually put how much you want to increase your credit limit to, you have to show them through a certain number of factors. And that's the factors that we're going to be going through. And I think that if we take previous uh, institutions and previous data points from other banks, we can use the same thing to potentially um, make an educated guess on what we can do with Navy Federal to get over $8,000 for a credit limit increase going forward. I pretty much took the same kind of information that I would deal with Chase and a couple of other banks. And really, you want to consider all of these things to be eligible. You want to consider your credit score. You want to make sure that you have a very, very high TransUnion 9 score. I don't know if they do a hard pull. I don't believe so because, I mean, I submitted one. I have not received a hard pull yet, but you never know. Even if it's a soft pull, they'll still be able to see your TransUnion FICO 9 score, which is the one that we have known Navy Federal to use. I would also consider your debt to income ratio. When you submit your credit line increase request, Navy Federal does ask you to put your annual income before taxes. So consider this. If you have a $60,000 auto loan and you only make $70,000 for your total annual income, that's going to be a very, very high debt to income ratio. When someone looks at that, I'm not sure if they would consider giving you more credit line if it looks like you're using a lot of your money to go towards paying off debt. So hopefully that makes sense, especially if you have an auto loan and then multiple credit cards and then, you know, a personal loan, installment loans. But the amount of money that you make in comparison to um, how much you have to pay off, if it's too high, it won't make sense to increase your credit limit. So, you know, keep that in mind. I would wait at least six months after your first credit line increase before requesting another one. I'm not saying that if you have your credit card and it's brand new, if it's brand new, we don't know if this changed, but I would suggest just waiting till that 91st day to request your initial credit line increase. Then um, everything after that, wait six months. Now, with that being said, your account history will play a factor in getting a credit limit increase. It does with every other bank, and I doubt that this is going to change. But other factors to consider would be the length of time that you had the card open and the ability to make payments on time and outstanding debt. Now, I would actually try to make higher payments. Now, this goes back to something I learned about American Express. American Express heavily will base your credit limit on the amount of payments that you made. They look at the amount that you paid. If you have a credit line of $10,000 and they see that you frequently make payments of $8,000, $9,000, 10,000, they sometimes will base your credit limit on that, especially when they slash your limits. I've seen this with American Express. Once again, I just want to, you know, this doesn't mean that it's for sure, but I've seen where when they lower someone's limit or they slash their limit, they make their limit the amount that they normally make payments of. So if you make tiny, small payments, they're going to give you tiny, small limits. So it's just something to consider. You may want to start making larger payments. So maybe use your card up and then pay a larger amount. If you do that and you do it frequently, that's going to show that one, you have the money to pay, but two, you need more credit limit. So there are ways that we can actually say what limit we need without actually having to just type that in, if that makes sense. Now, if you're denied, you'll receive an adverse action letter in the mail I would take the reasons that they give you and then change them to improve your chances of approval on your next credit line increase request. So we don't know about these data points yet. These are just data points that I've seen with Chase, that I've seen with um, other banks like um, American Express. They have similar methods, right? So the one thing I can say just from a, let's just say that it is a common sense standpoint. If I wanted more of something, 
I have to show why I need more of that thing. I would say that if you have higher debt, you want a low debt to income ratio. If you have a good credit score, it shows that you're responsible with paying. If you've had the account for a long period of time and you've made frequent payments, that looks good. And if the payments are large, that's showing that you can handle that debt, but you also need more because this limit is very constrictive. I have to make large payments because my limit is so small. So just think about that. I mean, if, if I made two large payments of $4,000 on my credit card in, let's say, a month, wouldn't it be easier if I had a $4,000 limit instead of a $2,000 limit? So I would just consider that um, I've done a little bit of underwriting myself, not with this thing exactly, but I do believe that that would play a factor in getting you a credit line increase. Um, especially for a much higher one that you would like. Now, I took a screenshot of my phone and I wanted to kind of go over how I would go about submitting this request. So it shows me as the primary applicant. I blocked out my employer. I don't have an employer. My employer is myself, but I am an employee of my business. And, um, you know, what I make is around $150,000 a year, or at least that's the salary that I'm showing on here you should give the salary that you make. I'm not saying that you need to put that. What I will say is I would leave a little bit of room for growth. So for example, if you make 50 to $60,000 a year, maybe you should just gradually increase this every time you request a credit line increase. Maybe go from 60 to 70. That way it shows, oh, I make $10,000 more than I did the last time I submitted this request. And then you'll have a little wiggle room to keep it going up higher and higher and higher. Your housing type. Now, when we talk about debt to income ratios, the one of the most important things is our home, because that's going to be the most important bill that we have. Right. We need to always have a place that we can live. So it's very important to know your housing type, whether you rent whether you own and whether or not your home is paid off or not. You know, so these things actually do make a difference. And then it says by submitting the request, you authorize Navy Federal to obtain a consumer credit report in connection with this application for credit. You also authorize Navy Federal to obtain a consumer credit report and any other information about you for the purpose of increasing the credit line, reviewing or collecting this account and to evaluate your credit worthiness. So that lets you know right there, this is an evaluation. They're taking the information that you give and they're using it to determine whether or not you get a credit line increase. So it all matters. What you say matters. What you add to this will determine whether or not it's approved or denied, whether you get a small limit or you get a large one. Now, again, as more time passes, and other people submit this same thing, we'll have more data points to go off of, especially when other people have successful credit line increases, maybe some over $8,000, $10,000, We'll have an idea of possibly what they did in order to uh, get those increases. So the credit card limit request is being reviewed. That's what I got when I submitted this. Once again, um, I've been doing this every every 30 days on the same day just because I was testing something out to see if you were able to get a credit limit increase before six months. I tried it for the last five months with no success. So I would, you know, definitely say you have to wait six months after that first 91 days. That hasn't changed. I haven't seen anything change. And every time I get a letter in the mail about this credit line increase, it says, um, it hasn't been an enough time since my previous one. I get the same thing every time, but December 20th will be the time that I should get a credit limit increase. Now, how much I get really might be determined by how much I've been paying, which hasn't been a lot because I don't use my personal card. Now, if I don't get the limit increase that I want, I will probably start uh, charging a large amount of transactions to this card, maybe even my total limit at least maybe every other month 
just to show that I have the amount to pay back and that I need more because this limit is too constrictive. It also says that they may contact you if they need additional information. And if you opted in, you will receive updates on the status of your application via email or text. So if they do need additional information, know that they might reach out to you. I haven't seen data points in the past where Navy Federal has done this. However, you, again, things change like this changed. You no longer can put in what you would like for your um, increase. And that happens all the time, you know, so as things change, we have to adapt. So I'm going to definitely keep you up to date with this. And once I get my next credit limit increase, we will come back. I will give you my data points. We'll uh, see exactly how much this increase was, and then we'll go from there. Another factor that I want to consider, but it may not be for everyone to like really control that, but I do think that they might factor in how much money goes in through your account. Now, for my Navy Federal account, within the last few months, I have had a lot of money go through here, and I have had a lot of money sit in the account especially when my statement cycle date closes and it captures all of my account activity. So they may consider that to determine exactly what your income looks like and they may base it off of that. Again, it's very hard to know for sure without actually um, having more information or without enough time passing. But once again, I will definitely keep you up to date. I probably will go through my statements. I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to show all my transactions, but I'll probably show what my balances were over the last six months. So that way, maybe based off of my increase, you have an idea of what possibly you can do to see a similar figure if it's a good figure. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. If you notice that you're no longer able to put the amount that you would like to request, then drop a comment below because I'm not sure if everyone was aware. I wasn't aware. I mean, this just happened again. I've been requesting it every single month. So I can say with certainty that this was not the, the case in October. So this happened somewhere between October 20th and November 20th. That's what I can confirm. With that being said, we'll keep moving forward, learn the data points, and then come up with a solid strategy in order to figure out exactly what we can and cannot be approved for. Once again, I do appreciate you watching this and you have a wonderful day.